Uh, he didn't say too much. Um, everybody was just happy and excited. Uh, I'm glad we got the win. I had been waiting for that moment for a while. LeBron killed me my rookie year, and I, I had to get my revenge. So. What's the moment you think of? Was it you on, on the island when you, you know, late in the first half? Or late in the first oh, from, from, as soon as that, that first moment, I'm when yeah we were on that island, I'm like, it's time to sit down. Here we go. So felt good, definitely, to get some stops. What was the key? What was the thing that you really focused on when you were defending him? Again, that's just replaying in my mind. I haven't played LeBron again since my rookie year. So uh, that was kind of fuel to the fire. What did you do your rookie year? Oh, it was he posting me up, and it was like either a foul or an and one, or it was ugly. How important is physicality in this situation, in that moment, especially in a game like tonight where everybody was pretty tired? Definitely. Um, you saying physicality against him? Yeah, well, um, against him and in general. Um, uh, I'm also a lot stronger now. Uh, game has improved. Um, so just, just being intentional and just knowing how to play without fouling and just things I'm learning and picking up as I'm playing, honestly. What is the balance there of trying to be physical and mm-hmm. take it as far as your game, but not foul, especially somebody like LeBron, who right. clearly wasn't very physical off the right. line? It's tough. You just got to show your hands. And uh, <clears throat> when he makes contact, you got to brace yourself. You can't you can't let him go through you. So that was what I was trying to do, stand my ground all night and just beat him to the spot. I think a lot of people here have, have been surprised by the three-point line since, ever since you got here, how that's been a major part of your game. I mean, it's the game. You got to play the game when you're out there. Um, and whatever, however the game is flowing, it may be threes one night, it may be rebounding the next, it may be making the right play, making the right assist. Um, so that's what I want to continue to do. And uh, I mean, there shouldn't be any surprise. I was a 40% shooter in college. So I want people to know that's definitely a part of my game. Jalen, I don't think you've talked to him since uh, since you got there from Vertis. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, what does that mean to you to have that? Well, it feels good to just see um, the hard work pay off. I mean, just thinking back to summer league, you know, I was supposed to play for two other teams. So to um, have played with the Nuggets and then go to camp with the Nuggets, uh, I was a little bit impatient, um, kind of rushing the process, just wanting to, you know, be on the team and open a night. But um, we stayed the course and um, the Nuggets believed in me, giving me an opportunity. And uh, I'm thankful to be here for the rest of the season, for sure. I mean, I think the trust is there, definitely, but I'm not satisfied, and I, clearly they don't want me to be satisfied. So we're going to keep working, keep getting better every day. That's all we can do. You climbed the ladder like that how many times at least in your career, and you didn't do that. Does that kind of confirm that what you're doing is working and you want to get to do it with other people? Is that like an immediate kind of experience <clears throat> that allows you to play more confidently? Well, this, 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 this is all summer work, years, years and years of just working. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my first – my first run around the NBA, I didn't really get a fair opportunity. I got hurt right away. So I'm just, just continuing to work and continuing to make up for, for lost time, honestly. You going to go back? Sorry. You going to go back and uh, watch those highlights, the defensive highlights? You Most watch? definitely. We're going to take the good and the bad. I'm sure there's some bad on the film as well. But we're going to, like I said, just continue to learn and get better every day. A couple on the Zoom for you. Go ahead, ask them on the Hi, Devon. Congrats for the win and your great performance guarding LeBron tonight. Thank you. How amazing is be, being part for the second unit? Last game, 66, 66 points, sorry, and, then, and tonight, 57 points. What can you tell me about the role of the second unit? Thank you. Well, um, our role changes every night. You know, we might need to come in and get stops. We might need to come in and get point, put points on the board. So... Um, second unit, we're, we're figuring out like the rest of the team and obviously the rotations are changing night in and night out with people in and out of the uh, lineup. So um, we're figuring out. We've been we're hitting our stride these last couple of games and we're going to continue to build off of that. Last one, go ahead, Joel Welsh. 
Hey, Dave, I'm kind of following up on your uh, two-way contract situation. Um, have you had any talks with Tim in the front office about the possibility or their possible interest in converting you to a standard contract so that you would be eligible to play in the playoffs? Uh, I directly haven't had those conversations with Tim. Um, those have been conversations that my agent and I have had. But again, we're taking it one day at a time. I'm blessed to be here for the rest of the season at least. And uh, if that's what where it takes us, then that's where it takes us. So I'm going to continue to, like I said, just be the best I can every day and control what I can control. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.